I'd like to start this course by giving you a general overview of what DNA Center and DNA Assurance is. So DNA Center is a physical appliance. It's a server that sits on your infrastructure on premises and it connects directly to your network infrastructure. So it will be connecting via SSH or NetComp or uh, HTTP, a number of, of methods that it uses, but it connects directly to your gear and streams information from that gear to DNA Center in order to determine the health of the gear, etc. In most cases, uh, this will require an internet connection. There are, I believe, some exceptions to this rule for air gap networks, but uh, in almost every instance, this server is going to need an internet connection. And by itself, if you only have one server, it's not redundant. That's okay in a lot of cases with DNA Assurance. If you're only doing Assurance, because Assurance is not a service impacting service, uh, it is a lot like prime infrastructure was where it is a, it's an overlay. It's a management and monitoring solution for your infrastructure. And if it goes down, your network does not get impacted at all. So in most cases you don't need redundancy for assurance. Uh, in some cases you'll have it, but uh, most of the time you can do it with a single server. However, if you want redundancy, it's not a pair of servers, it's three servers. So you need three appliances to make it redundant. And that's because of the backend architecture in DNA Center, it requires a quorum of at least two servers to agree up upon what is real in a, in a failover scenario. So it's either one or three, not two for redundancy. DNA Center serves two main purposes, in my opinion, uh, assurance and software defined access. And they, they can be mutually exclusive. Uh, you can do either or both on the same server. Uh, the assurance piece is what we're covering in this course. And assurance is basically, like I mentioned, that network overlay that monitors and manages your Cisco infrastructure. And that's primarily switches and wireless. Uh, it doesn't do as much with other network devices. Uh, most of the value is in the switching and wireless categories. And the other thing that it can do is software-defined access, which I'm sure you've heard that term uh, and understand what it does. It, this is not covered in this course. That's a completely separate piece of DNA Center. However, it is the same appliance that can perform those functions and it can perform both that and assurance if you wish. So DNA Assurance, to dive into a little bit more detail about it, is basically the aggregation and interpretation of network telemetry or the health of your network devices and your client devices in your network. And it takes all that information and it scores it. So each network device will have a score from one to 10 and each connected client will have a score from one to 10. And that score is derived by a number of factors depending on what type of client or device it is, but generally higher is better. And you'll see red, amber, and green uh, associated with the score as well. Uh, but you'll get network device health for your network devices like your switches and wireless controllers and access points. And you will get wired and wireless client health. So each of your wired clients and wireless clients will be assigned a score and that score will be tracked over time. So you'll be able to see a time slider across the top, which you'll see when I, I show you the user interface and it will show a trend of, of the health of that client or that device. So you'll be able to see if things are maintaining or if they are getting worse or getting better over time. And it's very easy to, to interpret what you're looking at on those graphs. Additionally, Cisco sells uh, what's called an 1800S sensor. It's a small device like a deck of cards and uh, it connects as a wireless client to your network and performs tests. So it measures the length of time it takes to get a DHCP address, get DNS, uh, associate, authenticate, and you can have it run a bunch of custom tests as well. And I'll go through that later in the course. Uh, but that information is also used to determine the health of your network or the score. And of course, issues. So issues is what uh, DNA Assurance calls problems with your network. So if an access point goes down or a controller goes down or something substantial happens to the connectivity, it will probably be bubbled up as an issue, which will show up on the main dashboard. And you can view your issues and then dive into each issue and see in plain English what the issue is. And usually suggestions are given as to how to fix the issue which is fantastic. It's a very, very good, easy to understand interface. And the thresholds for those issues are customizable. I'll show you how to do that. 
You can also provision configuration to your devices, and this can happen either automatically or manually, depending on if you assign devices to floors and sites. You can assign configuration to those floors and sites, and it'll automatically be inherited by your device, or you can manually provision configuration to the devices. You can also, of course, do software image management. You can upgrade switches and wireless controllers and sensors and other devices with DNA Center. And uh, DNA Center is your repository for those images. So you don't need a separate TFTP server or anything. DNA Center handles all that for you. And there's a workflow to it. And of course, it can be uh, your floor plans. So just like in prime infrastructure where you had maps of your wireless clients and wireless APs, the same thing is true here. It's a little bit different interface. Uh, and one exciting addition recently to DNA Center is three-dimensional maps. And I'll show you how to see those. You can actually move around and, and see in a three-dimensional space what your RF looks like and what the, the walls and things look like in your environment.